Here we are at Art Cano's house up in Leighton. We're going to be do, doing a full system over here. So let me walk you through this. Here's what we got going on right now. Um, this return duct is actually in really, really good shape. We're going to use the existing. It's, it's 14 inches deep. It's 20, or 14 inches wide, 24 deep. Everything is going good over here. Um, however, it's got the dumb, I mean, there's no filter rack on this. So what we're going to be doing is putting in not only the filter cabinet, the 4-inch box, but we are also going to be putting, check out my new laser, putting the furnace up on a box. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that, make sure the furnace is on a box, lift the whole entire thing up, coil goes up, everything has room to slide up, which is nice. Um, we will have to be careful around the gas line, it's not going to be in the way, but we'll be tight. Everything should come up by the time it's all done, you know, we'll be up in this area by the time we're finished. We are going to do an 80% furnace, so we are going to use um, this flue, but... You know, we are going to go ahead and make sure from this area here, we're going to replace everything from here back down on into the furnace, right, with brand new pipe. Flush the refrigerant lines on this one. Um, we talked about the box. We talked about the filter, the 24-inch MERV 8 flush refrigerant lines. I'll walk you outside and show you what we have going on out there. So continuing in the furnace room here, right on this wall behind this uh, filter right here, we're going to do a return air. Um, that's going to come, we're going to pan it all the way up the wall um, into this area and then take a 12 inch galvanized run and just dump it right into the main return. Since we are keeping this duct, let's go ahead and at least clean it up, wipe it down, make sure the spots are off of it, make it look brand new and shiny. Um, but that will go ahead, we'll dump that 12 inch galvanized into this return just to get some cold air return from the basement. All right, so here's the outdoor chunk of it. This is the uh, the air conditioning unit here. We're going to do a surge protector up here in the disconnect, replace the disconnect. Line set's very, very easy, comes right in through the side of the wall. Set a new condensing unit, going to be a lot larger obviously this time. One thing though on this is the pad, it is a cement pad and it's not level. Um, so we are going to do a new pad. Uh, we can we can A, bust out this, this cement guy and get rid of him. We can, if we want to, you know, dig it up and level it out. We can lay our new pad on top of the cement. Whatever, I mean, we just need this 100% level. So make sure that this is level before we lay our AC down on top of it. Lines in, air conditioning system done. We are going to do a Honeywell Pro 8000 single stage thermostat on this job. So make sure that gets put in as well. Um, but I think we've covered it, 80% furnace. The ducting, the box, the return downstairs, the air conditioning system out here, all of that done needs to look awesome.